And now the conclusion of our top 10 fantasy films. Well, number two, Kenneth already mentioned this, but Hook, <laughs> where's the Hook? Now I get to say my piece on this. Can't get enough of Hook. Let me tell you, fantasy in its best way, coming from a reality of someone that has given up on growing up, and then he becomes this just very uptight person. He doesn't want his kids to do anything. He doesn't want to spend time with his kids. And he's, he's afraid. afraid. And, he's afraid. and he's afraid of heights. Who knew? You know? But then, that scene where um, the old lady, oh, I forget her name, but, uh, sorry about I this. think she's playing like on Rotap and the Wind of My Back. I, I can't remember, but the, the his, uh, Robin Williams, uh, kind of adopted, adopted, Wendy. Yeah, Wendy. Uh, opens the door and the music starts and the pirate music comes in and you realize that he was a character named Peter Pan oh my goodness sends goosebumps I think this is the best pirate movie ever made even though it is a family type movie it's better than Pirates of the Caribbean and, that, and the best and the Peter thing. Pan thing yeah because this is this is about Hook this is about a villain too because yeah like all the other movie, like I, I like the live action movie of Peter Pan. I thought it was good, but um, this is a movie that really gets Hook. You know, it yeah. really gets him. Oh, you know? it really gets him. Oh, uh, you know, he just uh, he just he hates this kid, but uh, you know, he can't just kill him. I mean, it's too simple. It's too, he has too big of an ego, and the fact I love the fact that he tries to turn Peter Pan's kids against him. Yeah. So, that's, what's yours? That's a, your number two? That's number two, man. Best fantasy movie. The second best, apparently. Okay. Alright, for me, number two, you heard him say it way back in number ten! <laughs> Return of the King. I mean, I, the, the Lord of the Rings movies got better and better as they went along. Uh, I mean, okay. that, Return of the King, I mean, this, the Lord of the Rings movies got bigger, bigger, and bigger until you have 10,000 or, or no, like 30,000 orcs splitting up at the minister when you're shooting catapults and they're coming in, and then you think it's over, and then come the Alifons, and then and it's just so amazing. And over, it, over all the action, it's just these two hobbits and a deceitful sword. It's a process for the game. Uh, and you want to kill Sweetheart. Oh, you want to kill him. Like in the first, in, in Two Towers, you feel sorry for him. In the third one, you're like, just die, Spiegel, die! Go, go. <laughs> um, it's just, it's full of action, adventure, and friendship is at his heart. Oh. With Sam and, oh, shut up. With Sam and, uh, Sam and Frodo, they just have this friendship that lasts throughout the entire film. Okay, and that's my number two. Well, let's wrap things up by saying our number ones here. It's been fun, guys, and uh, really appreciated being here today on, on uh, Laser Dude's uh, show. But my top one movie, yes, this is a fantasy, it's not just an action movie, Batman Returns. Da 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 Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> da 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 Batman Returns. So much character development, so much uh, crazy stuff that happens. I mean, it's gotta be fantasy for, for like a woman to fall from a building, collapse, and then cats bring her back to life. I guess this can be argued for his sake that it's That's a modern, right. it's a modern day fantasy. Who would have thought a kid would grow up with, you know, fins for hands kind of thing? I personally don't consider it a fantasy, but I, I allow him to It's his list, he do it. And, uh, you know, a lot of people didn't like this movie. Best Tim Burton movie ever made. I'm serious. Best Tim Burton movie ever made. Best Tim Burton movie ever made. I'm going to do that. No, you don't. Uh, best Tim Burton movie ever made. I'm serious. I mean, it, it was a really good film. Uh, 
I mean, sure, there was. I do have a problem with Batman killing people. Put the DVD down. Put that down. Put that cookie down. But it was still. It was a nice. Da, 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 da. This movie was too dark for some people, but I, I liked it. And, uh, okay. What's your number one? My number one is biased. Mostly because, like, you might think, oh, that's not the best crafted, uh, you know, fantasy movie. Best fantasy movie of the year, I'd say. Well, definitely the year it came out. But what, what I mean is, like, okay, my number one is Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Okay? I love the Narnia books. I've read them all, except for The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I, I just, <laughs> I haven't read it. Mostly because I know the story so well, I, I feel like I don't need to, but... Anyway, I just think that The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is my favorite, is my favorite fantasy ever. Because I've read the books, I love the story, I love everything about it, and they didn't mess it up. They didn't screw anything up. I mean, they got Liam Nielsen as Aslan, man. And that, that really was awesome. And, and then the kids, they got the kids perfectly, dead on. And um, the, the, the action scenes were inventive and creative, and the, the wolves, oh man. I love the wolves. I, I just wolves are my favorite animal, and um, so when I saw the wolves and not uh, the way they did, I'm like, yes. I saw an old like Christianese made uh, uh, blind witch in the wardrobe. Now costumes. I, yeah, like I don't mind <laughs> Christian movies because I am a Christian, but this was like, like, like this was a life. Wow. Like the beavers were like five feet high and the walk was like gates, you know, like that and they had picked it was so bad. it was bad. And there were three hours of your life you'll never get back. It wasn't three hours. Three and a half hours. It's not. Yeah. You wanna know how long the, the silver chair was? It was like a whole evening. Oh, I don't think Frickin so. four hours. I don't. Anyway, but the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch of the Wardrobe, directed by Adam Andrew Adamson, who also directed the Shrek movies. But anyway, uh, could have been, <laughs> could have been, but I don't think so. I, I, I'm, I stick by my list, and uh, I think that the Chronicles of Narnia: The Lion, the Witch, and the is the best fantasy movie. It's my opinion. Deal with it. So remember, I'm Lazy Ninety Nine, and, and, and uh, I'm Chris Baker One Two Three. I don't have a saying. If you like it, watch it. Plain and simple. Okay. For me, I'm Lazy99, and if I don't like it, it's not worth it. See you around, guys. Be sure to check out more videos on my channel and Chris Film Baker 123s. Now, I uh, hope to see you guys come again. Till next time, I'm Lazy99.